Recently, Pakistani Air Force showcased its JF-17, J-10C fighters and CM-400 anti-ship missiles in computer-generated promotional materials. They did this to tell people how good these weapons are and most likely to demonstrate their capabilities and potentially attract attention or interest in their military equipment. They made a video featuring JF-17s teaming up with newly acquired J-10s along with the Pakistani Air Force's airborne early warning and control systems against the S-400 systems. However, the effectiveness of countering India's S-400 air defense systems with Pakistan's JF-17 Thunder and CM-400 anti-ship missiles depends on various factors like technological capability, range and altitude, electronic warfare and stealth, coordination and tactics. The S-400 is a mobile surface-to-air missile system, which is globally recognized as the most powerful operational long-range SAM and considered much ahead of the US-developed THAAD system. What does the video grab indicate? In the picture, you can see digital images of Pakistani and Indian military forces facing each other. The Indian side is shown in red. The domes in the picture represent the protective cover of air defense systems. The size of the dome on the Indian side is bigger, showing that the Pakistan Air Force knows the Indian S-400 system is powerful. The video also shows that the Pakistani Air Force is using its JF-17 planes and CM-400 missiles, and other planes like J-10Cs and F-16s are also there to defend the JF-17s. Role of JF-17 Planes and CM-400 Missiles The JF-17s have a specific role, they are not meant to be the main fighters, but are used for guarding important military locations and can also fire long-range missiles as directed by more advanced planes like F-16s. Overall they are not the most advanced planes in the Pakistani Air Force. On the other hand, Pakistan's CM-400 missile has the potential to pose a challenge to India's S-400 air defense system. However, to effectively utilize this capability, the Pakistan Air Force would require well-trained personnel, strategic tactics, and seamless coordination between their decoy aircraft, utilized to provoke the S-400 system and the aircraft launching the CM-400 missiles, which would rely on precise target data. Once the JF-17 and CM-400 combination is ready for use, the Indian Air Force will closely monitor it. This means they'll avoid using their S-400 system continuously so that Pakistani electronic intelligence can't detect their radar signals and locations. And if India use it too much, then Pakistan could figure out how it works. This is because frequent use may increase the risk of Pakistan learning more about the system, potentially identifying its vulnerabilities, and improving their strategies for countering it. However, Pakistan can also utilize swarm drone attacks or swarm tactics, which could potentially pose challenges to air defense systems. But their success depends on various factors, including the specific capabilities of the drones, the countermeasures in place, and the effectiveness of the air defense system's radar and sensor technology. However, it's worth noting that Pakistan currently lacks this capability. But the question is whether it is truly so easy to defeat India's S-400. Taking down India's S-400 air defense system is no simple feat, it's a tough challenge for several reasons. First off, the S-400 is a highly advanced piece of military technology. It's designed to deal with a wide array of threats. It can spot and engage multiple targets all at once, thanks to its advanced radar and missile technology. Plus, the S-400 is designed to engage targets at various altitudes, including high, medium, and low altitudes. Which means, this versatility allows it to counter a diverse array of aerial threats, such as aircraft, drones, ballistic missiles, and cruise missiles, operating at various altitudes. 
Consequently, any attempts by these threats to approach the S-400 system, without being detected and intercepted, are considerably challenging. It's not just about its advanced technology though, the S-400 comes with electronic capabilities that can disrupt enemy communication and radar systems. This adds an extra layer of difficulty for attackers trying to pinpoint it. And India is not going to park this valuable system just anywhere. It'll be set up in a crucial and well-protected spot, so anyone trying to take it out will face some serious opposition. These days, air defense systems like the S-400 are ready to deal with all sorts of tactics. They can handle decoys and missiles meant to mess with them. So, to tackle an S-400, they will need to figure out how to beat all these countermeasures. To really stand a chance against something like the S-400, they will need top-notch coordination, smart strategies, and probably a mix of military assets, including electronic warfare gear and long-range weapons. They should not forget that these advanced air defense systems have some pretty fancy radar and electronic gear. And to deal with them, they need stealth planes and electronic tricks of their own. But, just to be clear, the JF-17 Thunder isn't one of those stealth planes. So, even though the JF-17 Thunder and CM-400 missiles are important for Pakistan, they might not be the best tools to take on the S-400 system.